Hello everyone and welcome. If you've been here before, a very big welcome back to you. And if you're new here, a very big welcome. I hope I can entertain you and maybe even earn that like and subscription today. And we are playing a Vulcanoids. Vulcanoids you can play with friends if you have friends, unlike me. So basically, there's... Well, there's four settings. There's easy, normal, hard, which you gotta unlock after you beat the game and custom we're gonna go on normal Adrenos used to be a wondrous place a rich and prosperous island home to a busy trading port but that was not meant to last it began when strange formations like giant soil tracks started to appear across the island no one was able to explain how they were made soon after the formations appeared earthquakes followed Weak at first, they grew more frequent and more violent. A few days later, three volcanoes erupted in the island lagoon, hurling stones, sinking ships, crushing buildings. Captains feared for the safety of their vessels. All trade stopped. People left Adrenos aboard fleeing ships. The brave few who had remained soon regretted their decision. An enormous volcano that lay dormant for centuries erupted, flooding the island with a pyroclastic wave, covering it with lava and hurling stones miles away. Those who had made it to the ships were evacuated, myself among them. What we left behind was an apocalyptic landscape of fire and dust. Periodic eruptions turned our beautiful home into a hellish nightmare disrupting both naval and aerial traffic for years. Despite their best efforts, not even the best Imperial geologists were able to explain the volcano's sudden appearance. Several years later, exiles from Adrenos secured funding for an expedition to return to the island and discover what happened. It was my honor to serve as the captain of the Archimedes submarine. As we surfaced a safe distance from Adrenos' shore, we knew that this expedition to reclaim our homeland had only just begun. So, the base story is, um... <laughs> the big volcano in the middle there will continuously erupt. And basically, robot overlords have taken over the island. And it is our job to reclaim the island from the robot overlords. Okay, first of all, I'm just going to loot everything in the submarine. This is the submarine, this is sort of like an evacuation point. So this is half or a third FPS. A third resource management and a base builder on top of that so basically we have to craft everything to fight the robots to find out why they took over the island as you can see it's like a nice little like steampunk thing going on the um, the volcano will erupt basically on a schedule and this is a game that I put like a lot of time into especially the last couple of days because I've been in a really bad mood because it's costing me a thousand dollars to fix my damn car okay so what do I need I need the drill ship core oh might help if I do this first Basically, this is our little refinery. It processes raw minerals, things like sulfur into, uh, well, sulfur into sulfur powder, which we can turn into black powder for guns. As you can see, we, we got ourselves a little six shooter. Just gotta wait for this to go through.
You can automate everything later on. Everything here is done with modules. So now we've got to go claim the drill ship that is damaged. So the robots have a, have drill ships. And basically, when the volcano erupts, you need to be under the water. Or not under the water, under the ground. And um, basically, you expand your drill ship with different modules and that. Can't go in that way because there's something blocking it, but you can go in this way. And we claim the drill ship. So now this is our drill ship. Now we've got to repair the modules. Do breach replacement. Is there any module repair up here? I don't think we have any module repairs, do we? No, we don't. Tools, we need copper bolts and copper plates. So basically you gotta make everything that you need to produce stuff. This is our workbench. We use our little wrench here to fix walls and everything. Throw that there for now. So this is our drill ship now. So we've claimed it. So it wants us to build a turret, which is here, which means we need five copper plates and three tubes. Do I have enough on me? Or do I have to go exploring? So basically the premise is You have to go and pick up resources to make your ship better. Making your ship better will allow you to attack the enemy drill ships. The problem is, oh, there's a bit of a stutter there. My poor little computer is like dying. I need to look into getting a new one. But. Mm, I didn't get that one. But basically copper and iron and everything will show up on the grounds. If I could aim, things would be great. Research modules and production modules and that, which you will find. You will find scrap on the ground. The turquoisey stuff here is a copper. But yeah, uh, as I was saying, um, basically, as you're attacking their drill ships, they will try to attack your drill ship. So you need to make sure that your drill ship is protected with turrets and stuff like that. Oh, I 
after this next eruption, we'll go and attack one of their drill ships. Basically, as you attack their drill ships, you will pick up broken modules, which will allow you to make copper modules out of those broken modules. Oh, I should probably heal. Okay, so now we're gonna go. Oh, wait, I already had the stuff for that in the. Oh, I can't believe I do that. I already had the stuff for it in my drill ship because I'm special like that. Okay, so let's build ourselves a. Pistol module. Pistol turret. I need to produce some black powder. That will run automatically. So let's. You can't change what's in... Oh, there's a little pistol turret now. You can't change what's on your toolbar by using the mouse wheel. I think that does need to be fixed. I do want a door for the other side because I'm tired of running around. Okay, so we've got five minutes on the next eruption. So it wants us to repair things. Repair things with the wrench and module repair kits. And once everything is fixed, you're good to go. What does it want to do? Pick up the black powder. Pistol turret ammo. Oh. So I need bullet casings. Casings. I need pistol ammo. And pistol turn ammo. It'll pick up its ammunition from the main storage here. Now we got two turrets. Nice little window up there. So now we got uh, three. What is it? Raid the drill ship. Control it with the periscope. So you have this like little pit boy looking thing in which you can control your ship. You can look in the periscope and stuff like that. You can remotely tell your ship to go down. <coughs> you can call your ship to your location if you're gone for a run. Wants me to get some more coal. Each of these little village sort of things will have a basement. You can hide in the basement from the uh, volcano. When the volcano decides to erupt. And you can use your little pit boy to uh, send your send your drill ship down. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got enough coal apparently. You know what? We've got two minutes. I'll show you the basement. I'm going to show you the basement, little boy. I think the basement. I walked past it. It was one, one of these ones, if I remember correctly. One thing I do like about this game is you can basically set it to run and it will run until you're out of energy. And then when you get to 50% energy, which is the little green line down there in the bottom left. I have a bad habit of like seeing, telling my left and my right. So each basement will have things in it. It can be like the refinery tool bench. So during a volcano, you can... Or during an eruption, you can be making stuff. But you can't be making the same stuff as you can, like... In your little shippy ship. It wants us to hide. So, put that there. It wants us to move to another location, so we're going to go down. So when you decide to go underground, all your little modules will go back into the device. And you will bury yourself in the ground. You can turn off this little cutscene. I don't know, I just like watching it. I think it's cool. This is the underground travel. As you are driving around, you can pick up stuff. Different minerals and metals and that sort of thing. Down here you have a heat warning. You can cross lava, but uh, if it breaches that line there, then you will take damage. And then you will have to fix that damage. These are basically where you go up and down between the levels. As you can see, there's a couple of different levels. To get through harder rock, you need a better drill. There's a volcano. Now we got another 25 minutes before the next eruption. Okay, I do need... Uh, do I not have any sulfur? Five, that should be good enough. So the drill ships come in three different varieties. At least the enemy ones do. There's the research one, there's the military one, and there's the refinery one. That is a refinery one. As you can see, it looks like a metal refinery thing. I think this one up here is a research one. Oh, I should just dumped all that in the freaking thing, otherwise I'm going to run out of room. Okay, dump all, stack, stack. Okay, now we're good. So as you can see on your little arm there, 
it tells you the time, but it also tells you how much longer is left on it up the top. My little pistol turret should be able to take anything that comes after a little drill ship for now. Let's go and raid our first drill ship. So this is an enemy drill ship. I hear you. Basically, all the drill ships have spawners in them, so it's a good idea to breach your way in. And get rid of the spawners as soon as you can. Because the longer that you are fiddling around on the outside trying to break in, the more it's going to spawn and some of them have like a fair few like freaking spawners come on it's a spawner there as you can see oh. I hit the little button on the side of my mouse lines just released up top Do, 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 do. Where is your spawner? There it is. The spawners do have a cooldown on them. And as I said, once you get into some of the more advanced drill ships, they'll have like a fair few spawners. So while we're in here, Oh, and they will come from other ships as well. And I died. So when you die, you spawn back in your ship. And you have to run all the way back to get your gear. Which is a little annoying because I has nothing now. And that stupid drill ship had better not have gone down. So it will alert you when your drill ship is taking damage. Don't tell me it ran away. Oh, it's still there. Cool. But your drill ship, it will alert you when they're attacking your drill ship. But as I said, um, for the most part, so backpack, back. Come on, give me a backpack. Where is my backpack? Is it on the outside? It is, it's on the outside. So as I said, when you die, you have to run back, grab your shit. To destroy a drill ship, basically you have to take out all the modules on the sides and the roof. It's a lot easier once you have grenades.
Okay, there's nothing up there, nothing up there. Come on. That's it, it's a lot easier once you have grenades because you can just like throw grenades everywhere and it'll basically like own them. Oh, I forgot these ones. <laughs> once you destroy enough modules, the a drill ship will start exploding. Don't be in the drill ship when it explodes. Stay out of the fire. <laughs> Once the drill ship explodes, you can harvest a whole bunch of stuff from it. As I said, you can get like little module parts. Uh, how long's left? We'll go get this and we'll start making our next, we'll start research. And then we'll end this episode and we'll come back and um, on the next episode and kill some more. There is fall damage. But as long as you like Skyrim it, it's not bad. So you can see my little turrets are um, going ham. So they're coming from the refinery drill ship over there. Take your head. So now it wants us to... Throw them in there, throw that in there. So we can talk to the captain by using our little thing as well. Now it wants us to, I need one copper bolt and one copper plate. Once we start getting research in, then we can start automating everything. And rather than having to carry everything in our, um, I should probably make that first. Then rather than having to carry everything in our inventory to make things, we'll just pull from the main storage. I always put mine up here. So now we need to get the converter. Oh yeah, I need sulfur. I need sulfur. Do I have any sulfur in there? No, I have enough sulfur. So research is an automated process. Select the research, make sure you have what you need. And your little research machine will pass through. Oh, I need. Where do I usually put that? I just put that there. This is basically it'll tell you how much energy you have, how much is in your storage, what your hull integrity is, and the different modules that you have in your drill ship. So right now I have one drill ship segment, I have all the base stuff.
can also get to it through your main inventory. I need more inventory slots. What I need for that? Oh, I can't do that yet. <laughs> Sulfur going. Almost done. This game runs a little slow, like it's a little slow paced at the start. But once you get everything set up and everything, then everything runs a lot better. So, upgrade the refinery and the mine. So I need, what do I need? I need the shredder. Um, shredder. So as you upgrade the different modules, it will allow you to upgrade the different devices once you have the required um, research. So I need two copper plates and copper two. I need copper. Once you upgrade these, then they will start pulling and dumping into there. So as I said, then you don't have to worry about dragging everything around with you. Come on. So what do I need? I need a two place two tubes. And you can also, with the workbench, until this is upgraded, you have to stand here and actually like craft things. Come on, hurry up. I said at the start it, it's a little slow at the start but it does pick up once you can like automate things then you can just basically put a whole queue of things together and um so one thing i do like is when you do upgrade changes the looks on everything Once again, changes the look and gives you more schematics as you upgrade. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. This has been episode one of, of Volcanoids. I may make this one a series, I don't know yet. Because I actually am having fun playing it. And I hope you have a wonderful day.